I have very high aspirations for myself, who I want to become and the things I want to experience. But often I am just a slacker or just plain lazy. <laughs> And I don't well, do now, the- now this is this is interesting. True, but interesting. <laughs> <laughs> so, those high aspirations. Can you say, in the context of what we've been talking about here today, that you have been one by one putting those aspirations into your vortex of creation, mm -hmm. and that the source within you is tending to them and has literally become them? Mm -hmm. So, when you say, "I am a slacker." and you feel the negative emotion of that self-judgment do you realize that the reason it feels so off is because mm -hmm. source does not see you as a slacker mm -hmm. in other words can you get that from that the fastest way to get separated from source is to look at yourself with devaluation the surest way to disconnect from who you really are is to find a reason any reason to criticize yourself mm -hmm. it's almost as bad to criticize others but the very worst thing is to criticize you because it flies mm -hmm. in the face of the most powerful love that source flows you see so mm -hmm. even though it's humorous and even though maybe sometimes you do it the reason that it always feels bad when you say it is because source would never say it or feel it or believe it you see so why do I um, slack off when I know how important your wisdom is well, so let's let's reword this let's word it in softer ways I'm a slacker I'm lazy and I don't do what I need to do in order to be in the vortex now feel how that feels now since you want to be in the vortex what do you want more to offer an accurate depiction of yourself and where you stand or to be in the vortex well what you want more is to be in the vortex well you can't do that and be in the vortex so you want to find another way of looking at it so you would say something like I've come to experience contrast and I acknowledge that I've gotten kind of off track I don't always appreciate myself the way I want to I'm looking forward to more self-appreciation that sort of turns you in the direction of the vortex mm -hmm. or you could say it's not that I'm lazy it's that sometimes without realizing it I've activated vibrations that are really dominant within me so those are the thoughts that I have access to and so it's not that I'm a slacker it's just that law of attraction cues me up with these thoughts more easily than these thoughts because I didn't know to focus in that way now I understand the vortex now I understand who I am I have more desire to direct my thoughts into things that feel good I like you could say I like realizing that my emotions are guiding me into alignment and I like knowing that negative condemnation of myself and the feeling that comes as a result of it means that these thoughts are way off base mm -hmm. I think that the only way that I can ever become a really good focuser is to focus out of the vortex and feel the results and focus in the vortex and feel the results I don't think I've been a slacker I think I've been a collector of data I think I've been a collector of experience I think I've been a launcher of desires I've been doing a whole lot of step one work I have filled my vortex full of things that I want I wouldn't call that a slacker I've been going about life the hard way life outside the vortex is thousands of times harder than life in the vortex I don't deserve the label of a slacker I deserve the label of a human who's tried to keep every ridiculous law that humans have offered from outside the vortex and none of them work but I didn't give up I wouldn't call that a slacker I would call that misinformed I would call that trying to please others I would try going about it the hard way but I have never been a slacker I have never been a slacker and now I'm going to apply my same ability to focus with the laws of the universe and just because it's easier I will not call myself a slacker I'm going to utilize the energy that creates worlds I'm going to use the leverage of alignment I'm going to discover what a cooperative universe is really like I'm going to be in the vortex thinking my way into alignment thinking my way into productivity and thinking my way into the success that I want thinking and feeling my way there and others looking at me who see me no longer paying the price of being out of the vortex they're gonna call me the slacker they're gonna say how in the world can things be so easy you do not look like 
like you're paying the price at all anymore and then I'll explain to them I was all confused about this slacker thing too <laughs> turns out that we are supposed to live well and life is supposed to be good for us and there is a universal force that's set up to accommodate us and all we have to do is find a way to get into alignment with it you see mm -hmm. and I was so busy trying to prove my worthiness that I held myself in vibrational resistance to the ease and then I just got disappointed and worn down and then I stopped trying that's all that happened mm -hmm. but now think about what you know now yes thank you so yes, much indeed. yes indeed